I have this huge old PC. At the time, it was pretty strong, except for the fact that it was a cyber-powered PC, so it crashed and sucked and had a lot of stuff wrong with it. But I got some years out of it. Anyway, now I'm going to try and use it as a uh, proof of concept for a PC idea. So we're going to tear this motherfucker down. Uh. GPU comes out. <coughs> it's so much dust. <laughs> it's gonna be more like a mineral oil fountain. So we're gonna have mineral oil just flowing over the boards and probably spraying on the meteor bits. I used it. Actually, I don't even know if it'll work. I probably should have tested it. I probably should have turned it on before I took it apart. Um, so that was stupid. Through an extremely scientific process, I have calculated the size of the enclosure. Now it is time to cut the size of the enclosure. Okay, I glued, well, I cut some little pieces of acrylic and glued them onto the backboard in key mounting positions. And I drilled some holes, so now I'm just going to screw the motherboard in place to mount it. Not the best glue, but it looks like it worked. Okay. This is a hole. Hole. Oh. Okay, when I took all of the heat sinks and shit off of the GPU, I noticed that each single one of these chips had its own thermal compound on it, and there's the same number on the back side as well, which makes me worried because I think it'll be really hard to get good mineral oil flow over all of these chips, which clearly need cooling. Originally, I was just going to hit these two, which would be easy. So what I'm going to build is a separate mini container that actually fills up with mineral oil, so the whole GPU is submerged, and then it'll drip out the bottom down the rest. Right, music in the background. We got drills and drill holes to be jets for the freaking GPU. Jesus, this is gonna look like a fucking pile of shit. But luckily, I like piles of shit. Okay, plugging it in. Hopefully, nothing should happen when I first plug it in. I hope. Could explode though. What about this switch? Does this switch do anything? Oh shit. We have power. Okay. That's good. Now when I press the power button, I should get a few beeps because there's no monitor attached so that's the best case
case scenario. There's a couple of beeps. Okay, wait. I think that means bad shit is happening. I'm gonna unplug it. Ugh. Okay, so for some reason, this GPU that I'm using will only boot out of this connector. The other ones won't boot. It's just that one. I don't know why. But that's the way it is. Unless that's not the way it is. Okay, so I got my mineral oil in the form of veterinary laxatives. It was the cheapest way I found mineral oil for four liters for $27. So that was pretty sweet. And then I went out afterwards and I was carrying around cow laxatives all night. Anyway, um, what I got to do next, first I'm going to try and clean up as much of this chemical residue as I can. It's from the, the super glue that I used. I don't want like, I want minimal contaminants in the oil and then I'll probably dust everything off and then I have to I have to adjust the uh, the jets I have to adjust where this copper pipe shoots on the CPU and then I don't know if you can see in this copper pipe though where that black dot is on the other side is a hole to I mean this little container is gonna full, fill up completely with mineral oil, but there, I also want there to be a direct flow across these chips. There's another one there. So I have to adjust those so that the flow is at least close. But in order to do that, I need to turn the pump on while it's open. So we'll see how that works. Oh yeah, and then I need to mount it to the wall somehow. So we'll see how that works as well. Oh, that's so cool. We got, we got flow. The strong is so small. Shit. It's all over my hands. Is on the wall. Oh my god, look at that mess. I love it. Okay. There's a wee, a wee bit of oil in there. Multitasking is not my strength. Oh, I'm dripping. Okay, that's why I got multitask. Feels so wrong, but so right. <laughs> it's pretty loud. <laughs> CP, I don't know if you can see, that's...
Okay, we have power. Still works. Let's see. Let's fire this bad boy up. Two step process. Two handed process. Alright. Cooling activated. Bad news bears. This pump is getting freaking hot. Ugh, it's too much viscosity. It's working too hard. It's so hot that it's actually heating up the oil through the freaking acrylic. Hmm. The issue is you. Oh. Oh, I thought, uh, can I take a selfie first? No, because it's recording already. Oh. This is for the video, this is mad important, you know. Okay, well, I'm in sick landscape mode right now. So, issue number one is that this pump gets too fucking hot really fast because it's pumping mineral oil. I, I, I thought that, you know, it might be able to handle the extra stress. And maybe it would if it was submerged because then it would have better cooling. But right now, it just gets really hot. Um, and then, problem number two is that it's, the, it's not pumping enough because the temps are still pretty high. Like the, but the good news is I found like a little light switch in the garage. So it's, yeah. So the, the, it turns on the light switch. And then... Also some interesting things happening in the oil. Number one, there's an ant in there. I feel like, I don't know. There's a dead ant in that oil. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, that, that's another one. That's the second ant. Oh. The one that's, oh, is that one alive? Oh god, oh no. Oh, there, oh no. Oh god, I, there's nothing I can do. Now, in its current form, this computer is a bit of a failure. And that's for several reasons. The first one is that it doesn't work. It's kind of a big one. And um, let's just dive in to why it doesn't work. Um, the main reason is, is that it's overheating. So it, it runs for maybe a minute before it freezes in the BIOS and overheats. And I think that could be the GPU overheating because uh, those small chips surrounding the main chips these three, there's five or six of them on each one. Those aren't getting any flow. And uh, originally, I mean, you can see that there's two compartments in there. The smaller one was supposed to fill up, but it's not because I don't have enough flow. And I think what would solve the overheating issues of this setup would be to increase the flow now this motor was meant for water, and I knew that it was a risk. Um, it actually shot, it actually moved quite a bit of water, um, but it doesn't work as well with oil, which I knew. Just, I didn't realize how much the viscosity of the oil would impact its performance. And it might, and I'm sure it also has to do with how much uh, tubing and valves it goes through before that all adds resistance to the flow. And the, this is like my makeshift radiator. More of them. It's all it's just supposed to be a big heat exchanger. Um, one thing I'm not sure was a good idea was to remove all the heat sinks. Now, uh, I'm going to bring up some equations on the screen, hopefully, so we can look at why I removed the, the heat sinks. But to simplify it, it's because 
we can get a much higher uh, rate of heat exchange if we directly go to oil uh, on surface convection. Instead of if we had the heat sinks on there, we would have to go through conduction and then to convection. Now the heat sinks are safer because they're sort of a guaranteed rate of, of, of heat exchange as long as you can remove the heat from the surface of the heat exchanger. And obviously I, I'm suffering the consequences of the risk involved with going straight to convection uh, over the, the, the chips themselves. And the way that I would increase the rate of convection would be to use a more conductive fluid or to increase the flow and turbulence um, of the fluid across the heat producing elements. So that's why it doesn't work. And the other reasons why it's a failure are because there's freaking ants in there. Um, and also it's ugly as shit. Although like I, can't, I don't really care about the ugliness. I knew it was going to happen. This was a prototype after all, but it's, it's pretty bad, but in a good way, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, well, if you've made it this far, um, I don't know what's wrong with you because I was bored saying this, so, you know, you could subscribe if you wanted to.